What's up everybody, this is Scratch. I got a quick video here for you. We're gonna take a look at the Xbox Assist app that is on your Xbox. If you're having troubles um, with signing in or purchasing things or doing uh, anything on the Xbox Live service, you're going to get a error code uh, that pertains to whatever the problem is. But sometimes those error codes are caused when the Xbox Live service itself is having a problem and I'm going to show you how to check if that's the case. So you press your guide button and then you're going to hit the RB button over here to go over to the system and settings and you're going to come down here and click on Xbox Assist. Now this program here will basically assist you with your Xbox and for those of you who have been getting the XBOS-5002 error are going to find that if you come over here to where it says fix uh, you have tips where you can optimize your experience it has how-to videos some of my videos might actually even be in there as well um, but you can find answers to tips and just general things but if you're trying to fix something you can get solution for common issues right here if we click that we can see that we can manage our account we can explore the troubleshooters all of that sort of stuff but what I want to show you here is there is a limited usage of games and service status. Now it's not all games, for example. If we click the drop down here, we can get a status tracker, status tracker and we can see that this is actually for Skyforge um, and gives a little bit of an update. The purchase and content usage, which is the cause currently of that XBOS 5002 um, alert that so many of you are hitting up my comments about and messaging me and whatever else. This is exactly uh, why you're getting them. It is a it is a code for a billing issue, um, but that billing issue is actually being caused by the service uh, and they're investigating exactly uh, what is causing that because of so many people um, getting it. Now, if you look down here, you can see that the core services, uh, TV, music and video, social and gaming, all of that stuff is all good. You can click on your notification pres uh, preferences and then you can have the Xbox Assist notifications. Make sure those turned are on. And I'm going to press B to go back. And then I will go up here uh, to where it says Purchase and Content Usage. And I'm going to click on Notify Me. And this will bring up, uh, I can put SMS on if I want. Or I'm just going to say an Xbox Live message. Um, and I'm going to submit that. And then Xbox will send me a message and let me know that I should no longer be experiencing this. And if I am... I'm actually just going to do it for this one too, just because. Um, if I'm still experience it after they've said that it's cleared, then maybe I have an actual problem. And at that point, I should uh, contact support or come back here to YouTube and watch my videos um, or whatever the case may be. So pretty much that's it. Um, you can find a lot of stuff here in the Xbox Assist app. It's kind of newly updated. They update it um, fairly often and make it more useful and everything for you guys. So um, if you have any questions about that or any other questions, anything, as always, leave a comment down below. I do read them all. I don't get a chance to respond to as many of them, but I'll make a video if it's important enough or it's important enough to you. Let me know and ask me to. I will do that. So thanks for watching, and I will see you guys all next time.